Hi friends, today's topic is things that are smaller than my hand that I bought for less than a dollar and that sold on eBay recently. And the function of the exercise is to give you some ideas of things to look for to um, proselytize that buying big lots of things is often the way to get them for cheap and just to be generally entertaining and you know, voyeuristic pleasures of what other people sold. Now, nothing here sold for a ton of money, but again, all things smaller than my hand that I bought for less than a dollar. So, you know. Anyway, to begin, this is um, two American Red Cross buttons that, you know, sometimes when you take a macro photo, you see just how dirty stuff is. I really could have cleaned that off. But, um, these are plastic, I think they're probably World War II era, and they, I mean they might be earlier, I'm not sure, about 20th century, and I bought these in a large lot of Red Cross buttons, probably about a hundred of them, and I did pay $45 for that lot, which was kind of exorbitant, but I feel like it will work out in the end, and um, this I'm just selling these two here and one is one inch across and one is half an inch and I keyworded them as mother and daughter because that's like when you have one that's for the coat, the main coat button and then one for the sleeve that's smaller but they match, that's called mother and daughter buttons. So that's what's up with that. and. Those sold for ten dollars. I accepted an offer. All right, this is a YouTube pin uh, from the '80s, and I thought it was kind of interesting because it's not like one of their albums or tours. It's just kind of like this weird pastiche baby thing. That um, I mean, it's kind of like boy, but not really. I don't know. Anyway, um, this I put it on auction. I thought it might get bid up. But alas, no, and it sold for my starting price of $9.99. It's just a little like half inch button. And I got this in a lot at a cool estate sale that um, it was really weird. It was in this old house. Actually, I'm going to show it to you in a minute. And most of the stuff was your typical old antique old house stuff. But clearly, whoever lived there once had. A teenage child who loved music in the 80s because there were some great <laughs> great things like left in the back of their bedroom closet and this was one of them I got some other cool pens too like a banana rama one some others I think of Berlin and some cool magazines and posters and various music things and also I bought some books and I can't even remember, but basically it was one of those estate sales where I filled up a couple big tote bags full of stuff and then kind of got a price from the people and it was a bulk lot and so individual pieces came out to cost me not very much at all. And I want to show you the house the estate sale was in because it was really cool. So we're going to just do a little voyeurism on Zillow now. See it has this like crazy tower thing is not any known like architectural paradigm and it just has all these weird angles and this fan window I'll show you from the inside but look at the inside it has this great like medieval style <laughs> fireplace I mean this is not a colonial house this is a late Victorian might be even 20th century I can't remember but look at this crazy fireplace and this woodwork was out of control in this round radiator look at that I mean it was not most of the house was not in a great state of repair but its bones were I tell you the archway this newel post oof, look at that and this is that fan window on the inside and the secret cubby hole so many so many secret nooks um, and this is the staircase and that stair win that fan window is so great. And um, they have these huge mirrors, these were for sale, they're not going to fit in my car. <laughs> um, 
see the wallpapers peeling and everything, but it's just like so nice. That's where it is. Uh, the view. <laughs> so this is all the ancient sort of kitchen. It still had like this turn of the century stove. I think they had. I don't think they had a modern stove either. I think they just had that and this kind of 50s, 60s cabinetry and this kind of 90s backsplash. It was like all over the place. Um, it's not very exciting, but yeah, the woodwork. I just, it was a really fun house to explore. And there are three floors and an attic and all these weird bedrooms and bathrooms everywhere. Like just crazy. Like, every bedroom had a bathroom, and there were sinks in lots of the bedrooms. I mean, it's not uncommon, but in older houses, but it was just so nice how it was all, like, preserved, and we got some uh, blue tiles, and there's another sink in the, you see that? Another sink in the bedroom, and this just weird, weird stuff. And this, these porches oh anyway I just wanted to share that with you because I'm an architecture nerd okay back to eBay <laughs> here is a Saints medal and this one is so beat up but what's cool about it is that it's from Our Lady of Good Voyage Church in Gloucester Massachusetts and uh, that's the place with the, the what Gorton's fisherman with the ship's wheel and the foul weather gear and everything um it's you know the, the fishing capital of old new england and so this is a saint's medal to protect you know your fishermen out at sea and i think she's holding some kind of nautical item maybe an anchor or something but it's really worn the back i can't even tell what's on it but that sold pretty fast and I thought it was pretty cool. Here is a ticket from a uh, the casino in Monte Carlo from the 20s and this is this is small smaller on my hand it's like I don't know a few inches and this is all it is it's ripped and this is the back and I got this in a lot and the state sale some time ago that was just a big like a big Ziploc bag full of paper and it was all travel stuff from you know somebody's long ago well 1926 uh, European tour their grand tour so there was all the cruise ship stuff from them going over and coming back the menus and the tickets and all kinds of cool cruise ship stuff and then all the hotels and luggage labels and itineraries and all kinds of very collectible and interesting stuff. It was very fun to go through. But uh, they apparently went to the casino and saved this little ticket to the uh, salon from there. Here is, this is actually a the instructions for a toy. And it's this toy, it's like one of these um, like dancing dog things I guess this is Pluto uh, doesn't really look like him but if that's is that Pluto that's not even that's the other one isn't it no that is Pluto okay anyway well, whatever but this is the, uh, the instruction booklet and it's it's um, Fisher Price which is kind of cool you can see their very old logo it's I'm gonna guess 30s it's this very deco logo and it's very long detailed instructions of how to use this like dog on a board and this was in a bunch of papers I don't remember if it's from an estate sale or from an auction but I do remember it was something I just found in a huge pile of different papers that I wasn't expecting maybe the letters I'm not sure but it was you know just like a freebie in there and it sold for 25 bucks so that's pretty good all right this is <laughs> this is pushing the size of my hand but i just wanted to show you this just to show you these exist because they're fun this is a five inch record so five inch yeah it's a, you know 
and um, this brand, they're they're like shellac records, like like seventy eights are, and Little Wonder is probably the only brand I've seen that are like this. They're they're five inches. Sometimes they have these paper labels. Sometimes it's just embossed on them. Everyone I've seen is single sided, so there's a song on one side, and then the back has um, just some embossing on it, and. I mean, don't quote me on the Bing shellac. It might be some other kind of plastic, but same era. And um, they don't sell for a ton, but I sold three of these to the same guy. So that was a nice sale of about $30 plus shipping. And these, again, came in a lot of 78s that I got at an auction that no one else was interested in. And so I got it from the opening bid, which was, I think, $10. And it was a huge lot of 78s, and it had these in it. So, about the size of my hand. <laughs> okay, next. Another thing, I just want to show you that it exists because it's interesting. So, these are little needlepoint screens, but they're really old. Um, I'm not really sure what they're made of. It's kind of like a pseudo plastic of some sort, it's like some kind of plasticky, uh, cardboardy material. And um, they just have printed designs on them and you have to kind of figure it out how to <laughs> needle point it um, or maybe cross stitch it. I'm not really sure. I guess you would have to needle point this. But um, the point is that you do these up and then you sew them onto some cloth and you make a needle book for your sewing needles out of it. Sort of a quintessential early 20th century craft project. And so like this one has a rose and then this one says needles and you, I think these go together for the front and the back of the needle book and inside you store your needles and some, you know, cloth or um, like add some batting in there to make it puffy to store your needles. And here's another set. This is one side and this is the other. And then this is a picture frame. You do the same way. So you, um, sew this up with I don't know needlepoint maybe embroidery something you'd have to be kind of creative because the dots and the design don't exactly work together but uh and then you could you know create a picture frame with some other material backing or cardboard or whatever and so these are just these printed um, needlework things from early in the 20th century and they're small <laughs> and um, I totally don't remember where I got these but I didn't uh, buy them on purpose they came with some lot of something and this the five of them sold for $24.50 next this is a little Valentine um, I don't know this big and it's a mechanical one so when you move her arm the her eyes her eyeballs move and it's just it's very uh, and it says valentine be mine or i'll start crabbing i love that i don't know why i think those like stupid jokes are really cute but this is like really 30s design with her her hair and her little outfit and it's you know it's just cute and people do seem to collect crab stuff so there you go and this is, is a, actually a lot with this like totally throwaway one um i mean not throwaway but like kind of not very special and quite damaged and actually these both have glue on the back that it's um this old glue gets really brown it looks gross but it's just old um it's probably mucilage not sure that's what my grandfather used to use for stuff like this for paper and what I used <laughs> when I was a kid but um this came in a huge lot of valentines that were gl all glued <laughs> in a big scrapbook it wasn't it was probably not all valentines I think there are other kinds of cards as well and I just found it in the attic at some estate sale and it was the cover was a little water damaged and it was a little gross and they were like yeah whatever you can have that for two bucks or something and I 
carefully took out all the valentines that I could, which was like most of them. A few were beyond repair, but you know, they came out well enough to sell to crafters. And um, so there you go. And I have a gazillion more. <laughs> okay, next. This is a little thing. This is a little book. And miniature books do really well. This one um, is religious, a little Bible. I, I think it's it's just like little annotated, I mean not annotated, abridged selections from different Bible books or whatever. And it is vintage. I'm not really sure when it's from or if I ever knew. It doesn't say. But it looks 30s to me from the type, 30s or 40s. And it's um, tiny. It's in like less than two inches. And it's got just this plain cloth cover that's a little bit frayed. It's got a lot of wear. And so it only sold for $12, but it's pretty good for a tiny little book. Um, I bought this in a lot of miniature books, most of which were significantly nicer and more substantial. But, you know, somebody who collected little books just have this one as well so there you go okay next here's an old key again this is something that was thrown in some lot of stuff of some sort from an auction and this actually took forever to sell but it did sell and it's just an old clock key i think that's what it is it has a square hole and it's two and a half inches it's kind of you know objectively if you look at it it's kind of a cool key with that big oval hole but you know nothing special and that sold for $12.50 for a key um, and in a similar vein this ring of three old skeleton keys sold for $18.50 and it's uh just three old keys on a key ring and they just they have different I'm sure there's a word for what that is but I don't know what I don't know this word um, different thingies they're decorative you know I could you could use them to make a necklace or something or I guess people collect keys and again those were just in with some other lot of something that I actually wanted and they took a long time to sell, probably because my picture is terrible and it's totally blown out and I don't know what I was thinking, but they did eventually sell. And last, I have this little key ring, again, of the key ring thing. And this one is really pretty cool. It's just two blue dice in this metal contraption and they're strapped in with this leather um, or maybe faux leather little red strap and there it's you know a key ring it's quite small like well it's the size of two dice you know what that is this I got at this little store that is only open for a few hours on the weekend and it's um, this guy who I guess does estate sale clear outs and he just brings stuff back to his little store to you know try to sell I'm not really sure what his whole business model is but he has this store full of stuff I think he makes the money by doing the estate clear out I'm not really sure um, but he had this big sort of bin of junk jewelry like not even not even what you'd call costume jewelry but like literally junk like you know sort of modern like Mardi Gras beads and stuff and I was looking through it and I found I found actually a bunch of old Cracker Jack charms which are cool and I'm gonna sell those eventually when I get to it and um, amongst you know I found a few like little enamel pins and stuff that were cool but I found this and I was like that is so nice and um, you know he was checking me out and he he just kind of does a deal like you know like at an estate sale he just kind of arbitrarily decides <laughs> what you should pay and you can bargain with him but uh, he was like where did you find that he was really surprised it was in there because it was like so much cooler than anything else but anyway so you know I bought um, 
a huge bag of stuff from him for 50 bucks I think that day and this sold for 30 so that's pretty nice <laughs> yeah and that is today's small things that cost small amounts that sold and are kind of interesting to keep the uh, and are kind of interesting bolos as it were uh, hope this was entertaining and or helpful and please hit the like and subscribe buttons i have a live show coming up on tuesday the 29th of march 2022 and it's going to be at nine o'clock it's going to be a q a so feel free to leave any questions down below this video or on my community tab thing or to tune into the show and ask them live or just watch me try to answer questions which i hopefully will know the answers to and thank you and take care